Zeki is selected from his college to participate in an intercollegiate personality competition. The screening round for this competition is logical reasoning. Zeki and his opponents have to solve a puzzle given to them in this screening round to enter the competition. Let's first look at the puzzle. There are 10 bags of gold coins. Each bag contains 10 gold coins. All the bags contain coins measuring 10 grams each, except for one bag which has all the defective coins of 9 grams each. The participants are supposed to figure out the bag having defective coins. To make their work easy, they are provided with a weighing machine. Sounds like a piece of cake, right? Nope. Here comes the twist. They can use this weighing machine only once. Moreover, the coins look the same. And the difference in the weight cannot be made out very easily just by physically holding them. Now the task given to the participants is to devise a strategy to find out the bag which has the counterfeit coins by using minimum possible bags. So what do you think? Will Zeki crack the puzzle and secure his place in this competition? Well, he definitely does. Now let's look at the strategy that Zeki applied which led him to the solution. Hey, this is Ganesh here from Don't Memorize. Before we get to the solution of this riddle, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from us. Okay, back to where we left off. Since Zeki knows that there's a strategy here, he decides not to think about 10 bags and instead consider a small sample. He assumes that there are only 3 bags. Out of these, do have 10 gold coins of 10 grams each and one consists of counterfeit coins of 9 grams each. Okay, what next? Now he thinks he can remove one coin from each bag and check their weights. But then he realizes that he can use the weighing machine only once. So he can only end up with the total weight of 3 coins, that is 29 grams. But this wouldn't be of any help as he won't be able to make out which coin weighs 9 grams. This gets him to the conclusion that the equal number of coins from the bags cannot be selected for weighing. So he thinks, what if he selects an unequal number of coins from the three bags? Since he has assumed three bags, he thinks he can remove one coin from the first bag, two from the second and three coins from the third bag. Now, if all the bags had 10 gram coins, then how much would the weighing machine display? Correct, 60 grams. That is because there are in all 6 coins. But Seki knows that this is not the case. There is one bag which has 9 gram coins. Hence, the total weight would definitely be less than 60 grams. So Zeki chalked out a table considering the 3 possibilities. The first possibility being, if bag 1 has counterfeit coins, then we have this. 1 coin of 9 grams from bag 1, 2 coins of 10 grams from bag 2 and 3 coins again of 10 grams from bag 3. Now, what's the total weight here? Yes, 59 grams. So he immediately writes down the combinations of the other two cases where the bags 2 or 3 may have the defective coins. He is happily surprised to see that the total weights in the three cases are different. Thus, depending upon the total weight, he can easily say which bag has the defective coins. And this is how Zeki finds out his strategy. That is, if from bag 1 he removes n number of coins, then from the bag 2 he will remove n plus 1 number of coins, while from bag 3 he will remove n plus 2 coins. Bingo! Zeki now has to apply this logic to the puzzle given. He had earlier assumed the puzzle with 3 bags of gold coins. Now, he just has to apply this strategy to the 10 bags provided to him. So can you tell me how will Zeki go about it? That's right. He will remove 1 gold coin from bag 1, that is n, n plus 1 from bag 2, that is 2, n plus 2 from bag 3, that is 3, and so on, up till bag 10, from which we will remove 10 gold coins. So what would be the total number of coins here? Yes, 55 coins. Now if all the bags had 10 gram coins, then the weighing machine would display the weight as 550 grams. But Zeki knows that it has to be less than this. 
Again, he makes a table of all the 10 possibilities like he did in the case of three bags. Here is the table. Now all he has to do is just weigh the coins and find it out from the table which bag has defective coins. But hold on, the puzzle was to find the bag with counterfeit coins by using minimum possible bags. And in this strategy, Zeki would be using all the 10 bags. Though the strategy is not wrong, but he needs to think of a one which would be more efficient and would guarantee his place in the competition. The only solution that he comes up with is dividing the 10 bags in a particular ratio. But the difficult part is how the bags would be divided into sets. He needs to divide them in such a way that even if one set of bags isn't measured, he would still get the answer. And to obtain this, the only possible way he comes up with is to divide the 10 bags in the ratio of 9 is to 1. And how would this combination ascertain Zeki the result? Let's check. Zeki applies the previous strategy for the first 9 bags. Now, we can see here that from the 9 bags, he would draw 45 coins in all. So if these 9 bags have 10 gram coins, then what would be the total weight? Right, 450 grams. But if the counterfeit coins are in this set, then the scale would show less than 450 grams. And then depending on the reduction in the weight, Zeki would know which bag has the counterfeit coins. But what if the weighing machine displays the weight as 450 grams? That is correct. The counterfeit coins will be in bag 10, which wasn't included. This way, by using 9 bags, Zeki would know which bag would have the counterfeit coins. Bingo! Now what if Zeki uses 8 bags and keeps aside 2? Is it possible to obtain the result then? Nope, then he will have to use the weighing machine twice. Why is that so? That's because if Zeki is extremely unlucky and these 8 bags have 10 gram coins, then he would have to use the weighing machine again to figure out the faulty bag from these two bags. So the only possible optimum solution is where Zeki divides the entire set into the ratio 9 is to 1. Or in general terms, we can say n minus 1 is to 1. Zeki applies this strategy and secures his place in the competition. Now before leaving, let me shoot another puzzle at you. But remember, this one may or may not follow the logic which we had used to solve our puzzle. Now Nora also happens to participate in the competition. And the puzzle given to her was this. Suppose there are three bulbs in a closed room and all are switched off. And there are three switches outside the room. Each bulb is operated by one of the switches outside the room. How do you figure out which switch operates which bulb if a person can go to the room only once? There are no windows and there is no other way you can peep inside the room. For more such interesting puzzles, do subscribe to our channel. Happy learning!